In this video, I want to talk about working with vectors graphically, and I want to talk about how to add two vectors together. So there's two methods to add vectors, and the first one is called the tail-to-tip method. So I have two vectors here, vector A and a vector B, and I want to add them. And what you do is you take vector A, and I'm going to redraw it down here. I'm going to try and keep the orientation the same. This is just a sketch here, so it might not be perfect. But there's my vector A. And then, since it's called the tail-to-tip method, just kind of do what the method says. So you take the tail of B, this end of a vector is its tail, and this end of the vector is the tip. So you take the tail of B and you put the tip of A. So I'm going to redraw B right here. And now, there's B. If I want to find the sum of A and B, I draw the vector from the tail of A to the tip of B. So you start all the way at the tail of A and go up to the tip of B and put the arrow at the end of that vector. And this is the vector A plus B. And this is the sum of the two vectors. And the sum, when you add two vectors together, you also say the sum is the resultant. It just means sum. It's a fancy way of saying the sum of two vectors. Okay, so let's look at the parallelogram method. The parallelogram method is another way to add vectors. It'll give you the same answer. And this time, I'm going to redraw vector A again. So there's A. And remember, you can always pick vectors up and put them down wherever you want, so it doesn't really matter where A is on the paper, as long as I keep its orientation and length the same. And I'm going to put B so that the tails coincide of A and B. Okay, and there is B. Now you can imagine this forms a parallelogram. In fact, I can kind of draw in the other two sides of the parallelogram here. I have this side up here, I'll draw it in with a dashed line. And then I have this side here, which I'll draw in with a dashed line. And you see it makes a parallelogram. And then to get A plus B, you draw the diagonal of the parallelogram, and you want to make sure you start at the, the, the point where the tails coincide and go all the way across. In other words, you don't want to do this diagonal. You want to do this diagonal. And so this vector here is the sum or the resultant A plus B.